Okay, so Junior Roberts here, coming to you with real juniorroberts.com. And in this video, we're going to be looking at a January 2016 paper 3. So this video will be helpful to you if you're uh, preparing for the paper 3 uh, portion of the CSEC physics examination. And that is for persons who are registered as private candidates. Alright, so I'll be looking at uh, the entire 2016 paper for January uh, 2016, paper 3. Uh, this is video 1, right, and we'll be, we're going to be looking at question 1 in this video. So, this question here says, you are provided with the following apparatus, right? Materials labeled A, B, C, and D, and E. Right, so you're provided with these uh, materials A, B, C, D, and E, and also eight conductive piece of wire, a cell, a switch, a low voltage lamp, a meter, and a voltmeter and a resistor R. Now, question one now says you are required to set up the circuit as shown in figure one. So we have our circuit here, right? Let's just uh, label these items here. So we have a switch here, so this is our switch, right, this is our cell, right, this is our resistor, right, this is our lamp, right, and here we have uh, an empty space in our circuit which we're going to put our uh, unknown component, right, so let's say unknown component, right, which is A, B, C, D, R, E, which we'll be testing if they are either a conductor or an insulator. So, so what we'll be doing, we'll be actually simulating the setup of this circuit, right? Um, and also maybe in a later video, I will actually post an actual video of us demonstrating this circuit here. So, here it says now, describe how you would use the circuit to test the materials as either a conductor or an insulator. So what we'll do is our uh, step one, we will set up circuit, circuit as shown in figure one, right? That's our first step. Then what we will do is in our second step, we will say ensure the switch switch s w i t c h is open right and then three we will place object labeled a in circuit in circuit and close the switch. So let's say close switch. Right? So place object labeled A in circuit and close switch. Then what we're going to do next after that, step four, we will simply uh, observe observe the lamp connected in the circuit, right? So what we'll do, we'll connect our circuit, right? We'll place our component either A, B, C, R, D between here, then we're gonna close the switch and we're gonna observe the lamp, right? So whether if it's a conductor or an insulator, we will observe something in the lamp, right? If it's a conductor, it means then that current will be able to be conducted around the circuit and the lamp as a result will glow. If it's an insulator, there won't be any current flowing or conducting around the circuit so our lamp will not glow. So we observe the lamp connecting the circuit. Then what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna say repeat steps uh, two to four, two to four, four, object uh, B, uh, C, D, and E, 
right? And then finally, we can simply say that um, we will 6 record result results in a suitable suitable table. Alright, so for this, we might want to have um, uh, two columns, right? In one column, we're going to label, we're going to put uh, our object, so it's going to be material A, B, C, R, D. And then in the next column, we're going to put um, whether or not the lamp glows, right? So that's our table, right? Then now, it says now we're to execute your plan as described and state your observations. So for this we're going to say that when the procedure was carried out, out the lamp glowed when, when material uh, A, C, and D were placed placed in the circuit. Right? So that's our observation after we would have executed this uh, uh, the procedure that we listed above. Then now it says now based on your observations classify materials A, B, C, and D and E as either conductor or insulator. So for this we can uh, simply draw up a simple table. Right? Let us say we're going to have our material right? material right? and uh, we're going to have a column for, uh, for the lamp which is the state of the lamp so let us say a uh, lamp, right? Lamp state, right? And then we're gonna have uh, a column for a uh, type of material, of material, right? So our table will look something like this, right? So we're gonna have, right? Our columns going down, right? And we're gonna just list our materials. So we're gonna say uh, materials A. B, C, D, and also we have to include uh, material E, right? So we have A, B, C, D, and E, right? And now we're going to actually uh, make a note of the state of the lamp based on what we observe here. So observe A, C, and D, right? We observe that the lamp glowed when A, C and D were connected in the circuit. So, right, so we're going to say A, C, and D. So, we're going to say that lamp glowed right, A, C, lamp glowed and lamp glowed. Right? And for the others, now we're going to say lamp did not glow right and lamp did not glow right so therefore now we can actually now classify these materials whether they are conductors or insulators so since a c and d the lamp glowed we're going to say that these are conductors right conductor conductor and a conductor Right, which therefore means then that these B and E are insulators. Right? Insulators. Insulator. Right? So now it says here we're to actually list one precaution that we took in this uh, active activity. So we can see that one precaution we took was to ensure the switch switch was open before connecting unknown material material 
right? So before we place our material into the circuit, we want to ensure that the switch is open, so therefore there is no current flowing in the circuit. So that's a precaution that we took, right? Now it says here, now draw a circuit diagram to show how an ammeter and a voltmeter can be connected, showing correct polarity to find the resistance of R. So let's draw our circuit. Let's look back at our circuit. So this is our circuit again. So we're going to just uh, redraw the circuit. So. circuit there right let's move on and see what else the question wants us to do so okay so it says here figure 2 shows an ammeter A and a voltmeter V that are correctly connected in 1B above right now it says here to determine the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter so we have our ammeter which measures current and we also have our voltmeter which we can use to measure voltage right so if you look at our ammeter, you look at the scale of our ammeter, we see where we have 0 and then 0 0.2. But however, between, well, we have 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0 0.6. And we have some in-between values. Now in order for us to determine the value of each of these in-between values, we can consider from 0 to 0 0.2. And from 0, from 0 to 0 0.2, we have 5 divisions. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions between 0 and 0 0.2. So what we can do to determine the value of these in-between values, we can simply divide 0 0.2 by 5, and we get 0 0.04 amperes. So therefore, each of these small lines measures 0 0.04 amperes. So what we can do now in order to determine the uh, current from this ammeter, we can simply consider this uh, uh, that we just checked out just now. So we'll have 0 0.2, right? 0 0.24, 0 0.28, right? 3.2, right? And 3.6, right? So therefore, our current would be 0 0.36. So here we'll have current of 0 0.36 amperes. Right, and we're going to take a similar approach for our uh, voltmeter, right? So from between 1 and 2, well, from 0 to 1, we have 5 divisions, right? So we divide 1 by 5, so we go 1, divide by 5, and we get an answer of 0, 0 0.2 volts. So therefore, each of these small lines is 0 0.2. So we have 1 right here, so it's 1.2, 1.4. 1.6 and 1.8. So therefore our voltage in this case is 1.8 volts. So 1.80 volts. So now let's see what does the question wants us to do. So here it says we are to use the readings above to calculate the resistance R. So to do this we can consider Ohm's law which says that V is equal to I times R. And since we're interested in finding R, right, we can transpose our formula to make R the subject and when we do that, we're going to get that R, which is our resistance, is equal to V divided by I. So now what we'll do from here now is just simply plug in our values. So voltage in this case was 1.8. So we'll have 1.80 volts divided by 0 0.36 amperes. So 0 0.36 amperes. And if we call on our calculator, right, and we say 1.8 divided by 0 0.36 we get that our resistance is 
equal to 5 ohms right so the resistance of our resistor is equal to 5 ohms okay so again this was Junior Roberts coming to you with real juniorroberts.com if there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on please post it below in comments and I'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you like this video if it was helpful and click subscribe and the bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.